Every superwoman is a superman. Your love give me time where you know that you understand. Fine girl, you don't need no other man. No hey guys, welcome back to Dow Jazz. So I'm here today because I want to talk about a recipe from purplemossparadise.com. Y'all, the first time I ever purchased sea moss from them, I fell in love. And their website in general has just a bunch of information. And it had some how-tos. And two of the how-tos that I've actually learned from them, one of them is to um, make sea moss gel, which is going to be a part of the demonstration today. And then they also have, um, they tell you, Oh, the second one that I got was uh, made doing facials with the moss. When I tell you that the first time I ever tried this, I fell in love. And ever since when I buy actual fresh moss or dried moss, oh, the only thing I do with it is gel. Before y'all, I would have to go through so much just to even, like what the hell? Like, it was just, it's just so crazy to me that I just pretty much now, recently within the last six months, have discovered this technique. And before I was just having to like even with this powder which I'll get into in a second I have to make it every day but with the gel it's so much easier you make the gel you take a scoop of it put it in your smoothie or you put it in your you make a tea from it put it in some warm water or like me I use it for facials um, I use it for a foot soak in or like a foot um, a foot mask and I also use it as a mask on my face. And as you probably saw in my previous video, um, I actually do, um, what are you doing? Dang, 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 dang. I actually do the sea moss with the turmeric. And so that's a really heavy thing for me. I do that so often now. Um, and so, yeah, so um, you can do so many things. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can do so many things with sea moss. And the most important thing is that it's actually very mineral dense. Like, you just feel different. Like, for me personally, uh, when I first started consuming sea moss, it was about two, almost two years ago when I was talking about my alkaline journey. Um, when I first came across Dr. Savy, rest his soul, but he is a legend. And when I say, like, when I first started doing my alkaline shit, this is one of the first things I purchased, which was his bromide powder. And I don't know if it'll focus or not. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there you go. The bro the bromide plus powder and the ingredients in that are sea moss as well as bladder rack. And for his bromide powder in itself, um, that contains 96 of 102 minerals that the body needs. So, you know, you can already tell how nutrient dense it is and just how, like, okay. When I first started taking, uh, why is this not focusing? Okay, just taking sea moss in general, guys. I've experienced so much goodness within the last two years, and it's actually a staple in my house. I either have to, I have to have sea moss from somewhere. I don't even care. Like I love this because it's a mixture of sea moss and bladder rack, and I feel like it's more effective. Um, or I purchase sea moss from his daughter's website or Dr. Sadie's daughter's website, which is Next Gen. You know what? I ain't even gonna um, butcher the name, but I'm gonna leave it down in the description. And then also, or I get it from purplemossparadise.com. Um, but, y'all, like, sea moss is a staple in my house. The way that people have to have milk in their house, you know, people, they make pancakes with it. They make cereal with it. They put it in everything. Like, that's the way that I have to have sea moss in my house. So, regardless of where it's from, normally I have some type of sea moss, whether it's dried or powdered, in my house. Um, and so, yeah. So, <laughs> I just wanted to do this um, this little demonstration because I don't know I feel like it's necessary people should see people should know the benefits of actually consuming sea moss um, like I said very mineral dense so much and you just feel the difference okay like I use it um, I've used it before as a meal replacement um, it, it serves as an appetite suppressant um, I'm very high energy with it like when I consume it um, and I try not to consume it every day because I do experiment with other herbs y'all I just need to document my life but the whole YouTube thing and recording is just like a little hard sometimes but yeah um what else what else what else oh and most important one of the most important things okay guys is the fact that it helps for your digestive system it helps keep you regular going to the bathroom um that is one of the most important things that I have to stress Stress. Oh God. 
Like, I tell people this all the time. Like, I think it's just so important to take a good shit. And that may be very, sound very foul coming from me. I don't really care. Y'all know how I am if you on my channel. I appreciate y'all. But, like, using the bathroom, defecating properly, properly meaning, like, a full release of fecal matter. Okay, you feel relieved. Okay, you feel, <laughs> you don't have little pellets coming out. You know, it's coming out smooth. It's a very smooth move. And you shouldn't have to force it. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even have to... You shouldn't even have to uh, be constipated. You know what I'm saying? And so this will help with it, I guarantee. And another thing, like 90, what is, that's 90. What is it? 70 to 80% of your immune system is located in your digestive tract. So if you're not moving, understand that you're that you're making, you're creating a place for disease to be easily bred. Like, seriously. And so um, I always suggest eating most of people. people. Some people say it has a fishy taste. It does. Um, or at least the powders do. Um, but it's not bad. Like, it's just really not that bad. And most importantly, your health. Your health is most important. It's not even a matter of what it tastes like half the time for me. It's about nutrition. It's about my health. And it's about understanding that herbs are here to heal the nation. You don't fucking need modern day medicine. You know, it's not necessary. You know, they give you pills for everything. And that's what fucks me up. Like, yeah, they're, I'm so, I'm grateful for modern day medicine. There are some times that people have to use it. We have to go to the hospital. We may have to do this, that, and the other. For goodness sake, women used to, you know, lose their babies. You know, now we have cesareans. You know, that is something that's very huge. And most, I forget the percentage, but it's a very high percentage of women who are having C-sections these days. You know, but back in the day, you would lose your baby or lose the mother. You know, so I'm grateful for modern day medicine. I just think that it's, it's a way to utilize it and we can do things better. And of course, all they want is our money. Very simple. That's all they want from us. Okay, so they're going to keep you coming to them. They're going to keep you on medicine that's going to provide other side effects or, you know, it's going to mess up your body. And, you know, it's going to keep you. It's a process. It's a, it's a whole game. They're gaming us the fuck down. And the most important thing for us to do is, or for me to do personally, is to let people know that you, there are other ways. For most things, there are other ways. There's a bunch of preventative measures that we can take you know, to not become diabetic or not to be extremely obese or obese in general. <sighs> but yeah, oh, I got off a of track. Y'all know how I be, okay? But anyway, I just wanted to stress the importance of that. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can head over to their website at purplemossparadise.com. Um, and yeah, so let's get into this tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial portion of this video guys on how to make sea moss gel. As I stated before, if you had not watched the previous portion of this video, I got the sea moss from purplemossparadise.com. Now what you're looking at right now is the actual dried purple sea moss. I actually deleted some footage unfortunately, so um, I'm just pretty much working with the footage that I do have and so I just wanted to showcase to you how it looks when it is dry. You can also go to um, their website as well as their Instagram page to check out any other I guess visuals of the dried sea moss but right here this is directly from their website I just wanted to show you how it looks according to the website the first step was to rehydrate the sea moss and so the clip that you're looking at now it was probably soaking and rehydrating for maybe about three to four hours I'm not 100% sure um, but I did go ahead and let it rehydrate overnight and that was probably for about, or actually, yeah, like 11 hours or so. And this is actually uh, a fourth of a pound of sea moss. I actually purchased half a pound, which was $30, so that's only half of that. So right here, I'm just boiling my water in preparation for the next step, and I'm taking the lid off of my sea moss. After rinsing my sea moss extremely thoroughly and draining it, here I am right now placing it, oh I guess also showing you how frail it is, <laughs> and then I'm placing it into the boil, oh, the water is no longer boiling, but it actually is very hot, um, but make sure you just turn off the stove eye because you only want to seep it in the hot water, you don't want it to boil, and so I let it seep for 30 minutes with the lid on. the sea moss for 30 minutes I'm actually ready to go ahead and blend it so um, this time you do not rinse the sea moss this time you just go ahead and strain most of it and then you put 
they say put four to five cups of it into the blend the blender uh, with the sea moss but y'all I probably did like two to three cups I don't know I was just free balling it um just pretty much doing my own thing y'all because you know it ain't rocket science and I just was really scared too that it wasn't going to be as gelatinous as it needed to be or as gel like as it needed to be but yep right here we're going ahead to blend it and after blending it I go ahead and put it into a glass bowl and once again I did have a fourth of a pound which is half of what I purchased which is half a pound so I had to do this process twice and I didn't even use my whole shipment of uh, sea moss I used half of it and yep once again I'm here just you know putting in the sea moss I think I put in a little bit of water afterward that is not showcased here um, but yeah very simple guys very simple like I said go ahead and go to uh, purplemossparadise.com and just look at the directions it's not very hard at all um, and yeah I'm draining it again <laughs> I'm cracking myself up just looking at the video and trying to narrate this. I'm sorry. Um, but yep, pouring it again into the bowl for the second time. And what I'm going to do is refrigerate it. And y'all are going to see me come back the next morning, okay, with that nice, nice little blowout. You know, I got natural hair or whatever. But anyway, back to the sea moss. Yep, it's pretty hard, but it's still very gelatinous. As you can see, I'm putting it into a smoothie, y'all, and it still wiggles, okay? So it's a little firm, but it's decent or whatever. So, yeah. I ended up doing a pretty good job, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm making my morning smoothie and now incorporating my sea moss gel, you guys. It is really tasty. Like, my smoothie is delicious. Click up. Click up. Really, Jasmine? Click up. <laughs> click the link right here to take a look at my, uh, just my, pretty much my normal smoothie recipe uh, outside of the sea moss. Very simple. The only difference is that I'm adding the sea moss. And let's go ahead and fast forward. If you decided to skip the first seven minutes of this video and head directly to the demonstration, guys, you probably want to go back and see exactly how I use the sea moss. This is just one of the many ways that I use it. And yeah, this is my signature green smoothie with the bananas, the strawberry, y'all, the fresh kale, okay, the mango. Yes, I absolutely love this recipe and I love to include the sea moss as well. But yeah, go, go ahead and go back to the front of the video if you did not watch that section where I talked about how I do a facial with the sea moss and turmeric. I really hope you guys enjoy this demonstration. If you do, or if you have any additional questions, concerns, information that you want to know, please let me know down below in the comment section. I would love for you guys to just interact with me more, or maybe I should interact with y'all more because maybe I should post more, I don't know. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, stay at peace and in love. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.